Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Flynn Hill Goods compact cargo carrier. This is going to be a steel cargo carrier that you can put into your hitch receiver and that way you have more space to carry all kinds of other things. So a smaller cargo carrier can come in handy for different situations. What if you have a smaller vehicle that doesn't really have that cargo space for things like coolers or totes? Or what if you have something heavy that you don't want inside of your vehicle? I know someone who uses this with his smaller Ford Fiesta in order to carry around his tires for when he needs to switch his tires for the winter season. So situations like that, that's when this can come in handy. So when shopping around for a cargo carrier, some things to think about are where are you going to put it when it's not on your car? How much cargo can you put on the cargo carrier? And will it fit your vehicle? So for example, here we have our Prius V and even with coolers up on there, we don't have to worry about our hatch door hitting the cooler, but it will fit differently for different vehicles. We do have test fit videos on different vehicles. If you want to check that out, this is going to be the overall carrier. The perks of this carrier is that it's a compact carrier. Now that's good because it is made of steel, so it's kind of heavy. Not too heavy where I can't carry it around, but compared to aluminum carriers, those are usually lighter and larger. So this can be stored inside of your garage, um, in your shed, you can just lean it up against the wall or just put it on the ground. And when you're ready to load it up, make sure you have all the right parts. So this weighs about 25 pounds. So when you're lifting it into your hitch, just try to get that lined up with your two inch hitch receiver, pop that through, and then you're gonna have to figure out where that hitch pin hole is. If you want, you can get a hitch pin alignment collar so that you just set it once and you don't have to lean back and forth every time. With the holes lined up, you can then put in your hitch pin. This has a little nut that goes on the end and you can use the included wrench to tighten this down but really it's hand tightened most of the way. Once you've tightened down that nut, you can then put this little clip to secure it just in case. So that is a different design than you might usually see for a hitch pin. So that nut tightens it down and works kind of like an anti-rattle device. So it's a very solid fit where it reduces the rattle side to side but you will still have a little bit of up and down movement. And that's how you install your cargo carrier. You can see how easy this is to store inside of your garage or inside of your shed, but it will take a little bit of time to line it up with your hitch pin hole and tighten it down. That's why I recommend getting the hitch pin alignment collar and maybe a faster anti rattle device if you wanna to upgrade to that. So now that you've figured out if you can install your cargo carrier, where you are going to put it, how to put it into your hitch receiver, the question is, how much cargo can you put on this carrier? This does have a 500 pound weight capacity, but that has its own thing too. One is that it has to be evenly distributed weight capacity. Two, please make sure you actually have that capacity for your hitch receiver. For example, for our Prius V, I don't have a 500 pound tongue weight capacity. I have a little bit less. So you have to add the weight of the carrier, add the weight of your cargo, make sure it's not too much for your vehicle. Within that weight capacity, you have your interior dimensions too. So for your interior dimensions, meaning where your cargo can actually sit, we have 51 and three quarter inches of length, and then we have 17 and a quarter inches of width. And then for the height with these side rails, we measure from the basket to the top, that's four and a quarter inches of height. You can also utilize those rails as anchor points for your straps. So this has a rail design where it just goes across and that means you have that nice solid surface for your cooler, your totes, things like that. But you can also pick and choose where on the carrier you can strap things down. 
This sits straight out from your hitch receiver. So if you're trying to figure out where your cargo is gonna sit, just see where your hitch receiver hitch pin hole is, and that's gonna be where the platform for your cargo is. That will help you figure out how high you can stack things up before you get into clearance issues like opening up your door, lowering your tailgate, opening up your trunk, things like that. That's gonna be very different depending on what type of vehicle you have. So let's take the cargo off so we can take a closer look of will this match or will this fit on your car. So for exterior dimensions, we're gonna measure from the center of the hitch pin hole. So the closest point from that hole to this rail here, that's gonna be six and a half inches. So if you have a hitch that's close to the inside of your car, or maybe you have a bigger bumper, you'll wanna know that measurement. The next one is from the center of hitch pin hole to the end of the basket, that's gonna be 26 inches. So for the overall dimensions, the width of the basket is going to be 53 and a quarter inches. The length is going to be 19 and three quarter inches. So hopefully this will help you figure out if are you able to put your cargo care on your car while it's stored in your garage? Do you have to drive outside? Do you have space for it? Things like that. Now, if you do want to leave it on your vehicle, that's perfectly fine. It is made of steel, so it's strong and sturdy, but you also have that powder coat finish around it to maintain corrosion resistance. Now, with the hardware though, those are points to keep track of with it out and about in the elements. You have these reflectors on the end, so that way people driving up behind you will see that you have an extended load behind your vehicle. But also remember that since it is a straight shank, if you do go up those steep inclines like those driveways or those hills, you'll want to be mindful of your ground clearance. This does not have a hitch lock though. So if you are parked somewhere for an extended period of time and if someone does have the right wrench to undo that hitch pin, they can remove it. So you can get a hitch lock that is sold separately, but you can get that added on to this carrier. Now this is the wrench included with this carrier. It matches all the bolts. There is assembly required, but once it's on there, once everything's tightened down, then you're good to go. So it's a simple cargo carrier. It definitely doesn't take that much space and it gets the job done with carrying around cargo of different shapes and sizes. Hopefully this video helped you figure out if it'll work for whatever you're carrying and if it'll work for that lifestyle of having that cargo carrier. Another thing though is how well does it handle the road, handle those speed bumps, especially with things tightened down. Let's take this out for a ride and take a look. So backing up, you can see through the backup camera that we have our cooler, our tote, but there's still a little bit of visibility behind the carrier. So note where your backup camera is and see if there's visibility for your vehicle. Now going through the test course, we do have a little bit of up and down movement, like I said, but the side to side is very diminished. Then going over these speed bumps as well, there is a little bit of movement, but everything is still in place and solid. And as we go through our slalom, where we take our quick turns, we see the sway side to side. Here's where our anti-rattle hitch pin does most of its work to reduce that sway. I actually prefer aluminum carriers because they are lighter, but the downside to that is usually they're also bigger, they're more difficult to store because they're so lightweight and can fall over possibly, and they are at a higher price point. This is a compact cargo carrier. Yes, it is made of steel, but you do have that powder coat finish, and it does only weigh 25 pounds since it's not a huge carrier. So as long as you're not carrying around huge things that require that extra space, this definitely gets the job done. It's easy to keep in your, in your garage and you just install it and go. Hopefully this video helped you out with seeing if it is right fit for whatever you're carrying and whatever vehicle you are carrying it on. And if you're looking for other cargo carriers, maybe a larger one, maybe one with ramps, maybe one made of aluminum, Flint Hill Goods has carriers of different shapes and sizes and you can find them here at eTrailer.com. This one right here was a look at the Flint Hill Goods compact steel cargo carrier with dimensions of 52 by 17 and you saw it here at eTrailer. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.